Yo, squad up. I'm back swinging and banging. It is Thursday, January 27th, and we are back with the Agency of Gratitude. This is the All Things One Love podcast where your boy, Kendrick A. Vant, is showing you the power, the intensity, the intention of a gratitude journal. You're rocking with me because you can see how this changes my life. You can see how this implodes, explodes, not implodes, explodes my energy. See, you got one too. Rock with me. You can do it. My intention today, I'm finally starting to feel better. I'm working on this hard, man. If you got the depression, the anxiety, the stress, all that kind of stuff, it's up to you to do what you can to get yourself in a better place, to keep yourself in a better place. That's why I'm rocking my staycation shirt, man. I'm trying to put myself in the mind of a vacation, trying everything I can do to get my mindset out of these dark and negative places. I've got good things going on, and I refuse to sit here sad and think about bullshit. I refuse, man. It's mindset over bullshit. So today, my intention, singing out loud play music out loud. I am going to sing out loud, rap out loud, all that kind of good stuff. I'm letting my energy out. I did my yoga, my meditations and everything yesterday. I'm on day nine of double manifestations. Call to action. Go to all things one love. You can catch it on podcast. You can catch it. I'm sorry. You can catch it on Spotify. You can catch it on my all things one love blog. But I interviewed Scott. And I released part two of our interview. Yo, part two was better than part one. The stuff we trip out about, the different goals he has, that is some good stuff. Especially since we go back in time and have a real life trip down memory lane with avid field trips and going to the Bluebell ice cream spot. All this shit was good. You can listen to it on the podcast. I did it yesterday, released it yesterday, so you can catch it on the blog, All Things One Love. You can always catch the podcast on Spotify, and it's called All Things One Love. Value today, talking about knowing your triggers, talking about distress and anxiety, and I'm always talking about stress, anxiety, mindset. One of the big things you can do to deal with the anxiety, to deal with all of the negative bullshit is to know your triggers. If you know your triggers, if you honestly know your triggers, then you can avoid certain people, certain situations, certain discussions so that you don't go into a negative spot. One of my main triggers is I can't stand the conversation where people are trying to tell, force others to take medications, pills and shit like that, that type of stuff burns me and puts me in a whole nother spot because your boy ain't got no health care. I ain't doing the shit. So of course, I don't want anybody to tell me how much I need to take medicine, how much I'm messing myself up by not taking medicine, how much I'm doing wrong by focusing on mindset and doing all the natural things instead. Puts me in a negative space. That is a serious trigger for me, man. I will cuss anybody out. I'll be ready to fight. Don't do me like that. I know my triggers. And I avoid certain people, certain situations. That way I don't put myself in those negative spots. Gratitudes today. Number one, I got four for y'all today. I got four. Number one, I told y'all before, I do more gratitudes when I feel bad. That way I'm thinking more about the good shit anyway. So even though I'm feeling better, working on my staycation, working on my triggers, doing my stuff. Number one. Shout out to the restroom vents. I do not like people hearing all my noises, the pushes, the plops, all those doggone strains when you're in the restroom. So shout out to vents. Turn that stuff on. Can't nobody hear a damn thing. Shout out to them. I don't don't even know what the vents are really there for, but that's all I use them for is to hide the noises. Number two. My wife organized the closet, and now I feel like we got a whole second room in the bedroom. We're using it to work out. I use it to meditate, and none of us have to leave the safety of this primary bedroom 
because y'all know kids be outside your bedroom door with all kind of questions and requests and we can stay safe in here. Number three, I am going to get a hairbrush today, folks. I got to get my waves back. Step my pretty boy game up so I can impress my kids and my queen. I'm actually on the on way to growing dreads, but I can't, I can't keep shaving, man. It, it's in my hands. Last one. The kitchen is clean, so there is a chance of breakfast today. My son does the best job of the dishes, so there are no spots on any of the glasses. It means I can pick one up and just pull up. Shout out to him. So y'all got my gratitude. You got four for me today. Take care of yourselves. It's a Friday Eve. Real talk. Go to All Things One Love. Jam that Scott interview, part two. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. I'm out.